So here we are in the ward of Astoria just outside of Paris and behind me is the European Ryder Cup team room. We are very lucky to have exclusive access. Here we are in the magnificent Clemenceau room. There's already history been made here because this is where the Treaty of Versailles was signed back in 1919. So there's a real special feel about this room. Right, the bar area. This is where the guys will be coming in after a tough day out on the course, unwinding. There's an array of drinks at the back. Could this be where the celebrating will be kicking off on Sunday afternoon? Well, I'm sure they will be hoping they'll be doing exactly that. This is the dining area where they'll be chilling out over breakfast and dinner. And this TV here, this signifies something pretty special because this is the area where they've been all week watching motivational videos to inspire them, all from former captains, former people over the years who have inspired Team Europe to success. So there's been some real special bonding moments in this area here. If they want to play some games, this is where it happens. Of course, the pool table. And like in every team room at the Ryder Cup, the iconic table tennis table. And then once the games are done, if they want to have a chill, this is where it all happens. So we've got bespoke furniture. We've got the European blue cushions, the yellow sofas. And behind these walls, I'm sure we'll get a lot of action because this is where the games consoles are. PlayStation, Xbox, you name it. It's all back there for the guys to relax. So there's a lot of bonding that goes on in this room. A lot of team talk, eating, drinking, laughing. But as they exit and as they head out to Le Golf National, they'll see here their uniform for the day. It changes every morning because this is their identity. This is Europe. And whatever happens this week, if Europe is successful, a lot of it will be down to what happens in this room.